I am always looking for new and improved ways to apply makeup, so I hopped over to TikTok. I have five hacks that I found on TikTok. The right side of my face I'm going to use for the hacks, and the left side of my face I'm going to apply the makeup the way I usually do so that I can see if there is a difference. So let's jump in to the eyeshadow. If you're not good at eyeshadow, this video is for you. I'm gonna teach you the best eyeshadow hack I've ever seen, and if you do it this way, you really can't mess it up. All you'll need are three colors, a dark shade, a medium shade, and a light shade, and you'll need a good eyeshadow brush. I love this one by Saint. It has this little small end and the fluffy end. This is the only eyeshadow brush I ever use. Okay, so I don't have a good eyeshadow brush yet, so this might not be the best presentation. I am going to be using these two brushes that I currently have. I'm still waiting for my BK brushes to come in. So first, I'm going to put Bobbi Brown's concealer on both lids because this hat does not prep you. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep myself. Since I've started using concealer on my eyes instead of primer, I find that the makeup application goes on so much more smoothly, more pigmented, and my makeup seems to last longer. I'm not having to do layer after layer after layer. Okay. Today I'm using the Pure On Point Saturday Palette. And well, I usually use four colors, but that's okay. I'm going to do what I normally do here. Um, I usually start off with the light color. Then I grab my medium color and I do my crease with that. And then I grab the dark color and add it to the outer corner. And then I blend. Now I've got spillage here, but that's okay because I haven't done my foundation yet. So I can get rid of any of the excess with makeup remover. Just does not want to blend right there. Okay, so that is normally how I do my eyes. Let's see how she does it. So you're gonna start with your dark shade and you're gonna get a little bit of that on your brush. I'm gonna put it on the outer third of your lid and your crease. So make sure you go up higher than your natural crease. So I'm supposed to be going higher with this, it looks like. I might be putting too much on, I don't know, but it looks like she put a lot on. Okay. You're gonna take a medium shade then she said the medium shade. And you're gonna put that all over the middle of your lid and bring it slightly up into the crease, not as high as the first color. Take your lightest color. You're gonna put that on the inner third of the lid and you're not gonna bring it up into the crease. Put that color up underneath your brows. Now you're gonna take the fluffy end of the brush and you're just gonna start blending everything out you really can't like over blend so make sure you blend out all the lines I think I went over too far I don't know I'm not I, I don't really use this much of the dark color I'm trying to 
wipe off any excess. <laughs> I don't know about this. I mean, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I see the final result. It looks like okay, I've blended, I've blended and blended. I don't think I can blend anymore. I have this Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. And here's where I do that. And you know what? I didn't do it to this side. So let's do that. You've just done a full eyeshadow look and you didn't even really have to try. Now I'm gonna show you how I created my little liner. I'm just gonna take that same dark color and that same small end of the brush and you can fancy it up by just adding a little tiny wing. Don't need much there. Like that. And then I'm gonna take the medium shade and put that so under medium. my bottom lashes. It's a little it. too... So easy. It's a little too light, I think. Maybe it's just me and my own ways, but I always seem to prefer to do the light color first and build up to the dark rather than the dark first and then build down to the light, you know? I don't know. That's my opinion. <laughs> the next hack that I found is for foundation. I'm really excited to try this one because I seem to struggle, especially like on the nose, for the foundation to, to move and it kind of peels and I don't know. I'm I'm anxious to try this. So I'm going to put the foundation on my left side the way I normally do it. She calls for moisturize first. So I'm definitely gonna moisturize the whole face first. For the moisturizer, I'm using Clinique Moisture Surge 100H Auto Replenish Hydrator. Really want to moist, moisten under the eyes because I'm old and I got wrinkles. And then I go from there to primer. Today I'm using the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. And I'm just going to put this on the left side of my face so I really don't need much. Just very little. Actually, I'm going to need more than this, I think. So I'm only gonna do half of my nose. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever foundation. Only gonna need one pump of this. And guys, this is only the second time I've used a brush. I have always used, used, <laughs> I have always used the Beauty Blender when it came to my foundation. But this video, she calls for, like she's using a brush, so I, to be fair, should use a brush as well. So it's not the tool that she's that's in the hack. It's the application. I got such dry skin. Okay, so that is the way I apply my foundation. I'm using the Lee Swatier Magnifique to go setting powder, and then I will. Try to stay away from the eyes, but around the nose. Oops, wrong side. Around the nose. <laughs> I will powder a little bit on the forehead, not too, too much. Okay. Now let's jump into what she does. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one and I just lightly dab it all over my face, not too much. Okay, so she's saying before the foundation, put powder. So she said not too, too much. Okay. 
Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish Endurance Breathable Setting Spray. Might as well spray the whole face. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Wait for the setting spray to dry and then apply primer. Ah. <laughs> okay. It's drying, it's drying. No more messing around. So then she said, put the primer on. So I'm using the same primer as I did on the other side, the Smashbox Photo Finish. And just down the half of my face. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your makeup is gonna look. And it's gonna stay on 24 seven and it's not gonna crease. Then I'm just gonna use the one pump. Okay, I gotta take a closer look at this. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it peel quite a bit on this side. This side, I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, I got, look at that. I got a piece of dry skin right there on the nose. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you guys can see, but I, you can see a little bit on this side but this side, it's way worse. I think putting the powder on and then getting it wet, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'd be using that hack. Maybe it works for some people, but not this gal. <laughs> I am using Pure Blushing Act Matte Blush. Pretty in Peach is the name of the blush. So B33. And these are so pretty, these little compacts. I used to just put the blush on the apples of my cheeks. But again, I'm always, always looking for new ways to learn. And in watching videos, a lot are saying, go really high, like almost right below where my eye bag ends, and then carry it up the side of the face. That's my blush application. Let's see what this one says. Lifted blush placement hack. I've never seen this blush hack before, but you take any blush, pop it on how you normally would, Okay, so I should have just done both sides of blush. Okay. I feel like I'm pretty lifted, but I could be wrong. So take a concealer, start at the end of your nose and drag it out to the middle of your ear. Buff it into your skin. And then buff it out. And it's supposed to give you the most lifted, perfect blush placement for your face. And I have never tried it, so I'm trying it with you guys right now. Okay, I like this one. Look at the difference, too, way too much on this side I've been putting. This side is darn near perfect. I probably still need to blend just a little bit more, but... What do we think? Are we lifted? I like it. This one is a hack that I will definitely use moving forward. Thank you very much for this hack. This one was wonderful. Oh, 
Oh no, why does everybody use all that product to contour? That is too much. <laughs> Everyone looks like Cats the Musical. I did learn a, uh, a trick that you put your finger right below your cheekbone. And I think you're supposed to use a, a skinnier one, but this is how I, this is how I normally place it. And then I go down the nose, on the forehead, on my jowl, and then I blend it. Let's see what she does. <laughs> now try to blend it. That's not contour, that's half a face tour. <laughs> yep. Oh. Blotchy, muddy, and you made holes all over your foundation. That's your whole forehead. Just, oh. Do this instead. Stop using all that product. We're going to do the dots. Do one dot in your cheekbone. One. Done. One dot in the cheekbone. That seems really high. Did I do that wrong? One dot on the side of the nose, get that bulb area. One dot in the hairline, one dot if you have a jowl. That's it, okay? Now blend very lightly so you're not putting holes in your foundation or disrupting your coverage. Look at that lift. We're creating natural shadows, not a whole Cats the Musical. There we go. That's it, that's all you need and your product will last so much longer. No, and let's hmm. go. Actually like the nose side better, rather than going down like what I did. Blend that out a bit more. I actually like this better. It's, it's a little more subtle, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And I might actually like the cheek better. So I would, moving forward, use one dot on my nose and one on my cheek in the right spot this time. I think I would continue to do my jowl and the forehead the way I did it rather than just the one dot. I think you do need a little bit more in those. I do. I do. <laughs> I shouldn't say you. I. So, yeah. And I'm kind of warming up to the eye thing. I gotta tell you, like, I should have put mascara on. Before I'm finished this video, I will finish my makeup on both sides, like the mascara my and my brows. And we will see what the final looks. Favorite lip plumping hack. Normally I don't actually keep my Cupid bow. Just cause I feel like it, um, it looks like I have fuller lips. Do you guys ever do that? Like I'm moving my head <laughs> instead of moving my head. <laughs> Okay, and then I have learned not to go all the way to the edge. And I am using my new YSL lip balm. The color is 15, so this guy. It's so weird doing just half a lip. So that's how I normally do my lips. Let's see how she does it. Little line in the middle. I've done this before. It's like an old school J-Lo hack. Okay, go. Okay, so let's try that. Little line in the middle. And she goes outside of the lip. Go here, around, from that middle line, same on the bottom, along, under, go out, 
back up. This is Makeup Forever Lip and Down Tan. Blending it in. So it doesn't look like an obvious line. Not too much into the corners. Then let's use my favorite L'Oreal 800. The Perfect Nude. And the Plumpest Pout. Going out tonight, so let's go. Okay. I'm loving this hack. Absolutely love it. You see the difference? This side definitely looks plumper with the with the lip liner below the lip. Actually, you could probably blend that a little bit more, but yeah, that I really like that. I could have even probably gone a bit higher on this side like she did. And then yeah look at that difference yay I'm I'm learning <laughs> okay well that was it for the hacks guys I'm gonna quickly finish my eye makeup and my eyebrows and just so that you guys can get the the total look one thing I am going to say as far as the foundation application I'm noticing that my foundation did not settle in the lines as bad on this side as it did on my side I'm on my forehead forehead looks the same but it's the eyes I am noticing not as many creases on this side and I didn't even set it hmm I might give these hacks a little bit more try. So what do you think? I think I actually like this side better than this side. Remember I said I add four shadow colors? I always finish off with the disco ball and I always just put it, I should have done this before I did my mascara. I always put it on the lid. So I'm gonna put it on both. It shows up definitely better on that side. There we go. Well, that's it. I definitely see a difference from each side. So, yeah, I... This is awesome. I love learning and I learned five new tricks today. So excited to put them to use on a regular basis. I will continue to do these hack videos. I'm always on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, looking for new ways of makeup application. So if I find any that I feel I would like to try or if there's any that you guys would like me to try, please comment below. Let me know if you can put a link to either the um, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever. Those are the three I'm on. Those are the three social medias I'm on. But please put a link, comment below, and I will try them. I know you'll probably try them anyways, but I will try them. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys haven't done so yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. Also, if you liked this video and would like to see more like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.